Last week, we announced charges against Samuel Bankman Freed for a sweeping fraud scheme that contributed to FTX's collapse and for a campaign finance scheme that sought to influence public policy in Washington. As I said last week, this investigation is very much ongoing and it's moving very quickly. I also said that last week's announcement would not be our last. And let me be clear once again, neither is today's. I want to make two announcements. First, I'm announcing that the Southern District of New York has filed charges against Caroline Ellison, the former CEO of Alameda Research, and Gary Wong, a co-founder of FTX, in connection with their roles in the frauds that contributed to FTX's collapse. Both Ms. Ellison and Mr. Wong have pled guilty to those charges, and they are both cooperating with the Southern District of New York. Let me reiterate a call that I made last week. If you participated in misconduct at FTX or Alameda, now is the time to get ahead of it. We are moving quickly, and our patience is not eternal. Second, I'm announcing that Samuel Bankman Freed is now in FBI custody and is on his way back to the United States. He will be transported directly to the Southern District of New York, and he will appear in court before a judge in this district as soon as possible. Many individuals in the Bahamas and in the United States contributed to the swiftness of the defendant's return. And I want to thank the Bahamas for its outstanding assistance and excellent coordination with us. I also want to thank our partners at the United States Embassy in the Bahamas and the Justice Department's Office of International Affairs. And finally, I want to thank the FBI for moving mountains to get this done. This was a true team effort. Finally, I want to thank the career prosecutors from my office who were handling this case. We continue to work around the clock, and we are far from done. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.